Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a delicious keto dinner in 15 minutes or less with quick and easy cleanup. And when I say it only takes 15 minutes to put this together, seriously, that's with prep time and everything. This is inspired by a recipe by Give Me Delicious, which I will of course link down below. We just changed it up a little bit to make it even easier for anyone who's trying to follow a keto diet and live a keto lifestyle, but also like me is extremely busy. So so first up, over medium to medium high heat on my stove, that's at six. I have a large skillet and I'm just adding in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Once that's nice and hot, I'm adding in about a pound of diced raw chicken. The smaller, the better, because that's gonna make it cook even faster. This is actually a little less than a pound of raw chicken because I just took out one large chicken breast and it was just shy of a pound and it didn't feel like thawing out more. So we're just gonna level that out in our skillet, adding a fourth of a teaspoon of sea salt to that, along with a fourth of a teaspoon ground black pepper, a fourth of a teaspoon crushed red pepper flakes. You can leave these out if you're trying to make a kid-friendly keto meal. Also adding one teaspoon of just a basic dried Italian seasoning blend and tossing that all around. Now, because our chicken is so small, this is seriously gonna cook all the way through in less than five minutes. So I'm just gonna saute it. You can see how beautiful that chicken starts looking once it's coated in that olive oil and seasoning mixture. And once it is cooked all the way through, I'm adding in two heaping teaspoons of minced garlic. And then I'm just gonna stir this pretty constantly after I add it in so that it doesn't burn. And just for about 30 seconds here before adding in a half a cup of diced tomatoes. Now to make this recipe even easier, I did opt to use canned petite diced tomatoes. No salt, no sugar added. And I drained uh, most of the excess juice off of those before I added them in. I'm also adding in two cups of chopped broccoli florets. And I love using the organic Kirkland's frozen broccoli. I just defrosted it in the microwave for about a minute to make it easier to chop up. But you could just use fresh broccoli. You could use a small bag of chopped up broccoli to make it easier. After I stir that in, I'm adding two cups of baby spinach. When I say two cups, I literally measured this out in a measuring cup and pressed it down to the two cup mark. It's only a couple of ounces. I mean, it's about a fourth of a five ounce container of baby spinach. And this is gonna wilt down really, really quickly. On top of that, I'm just throwing in four ounces of cream cheese. If you have time to make it room temperature, of course, that's gonna make it melt easier. Easier, but if not, no biggie. I'm just clearing a space in my skillet and kind of pushing that cream cheese down to the pan and breaking it apart so it'll melt quicker. If you wanted to, you could pop a lid on top of this. It's gonna trap the steam in and make your broccoli go ahead and wilt and cook down even faster. But I'm doing this part in real time for you so you can see how quickly it wilts down on its own. I didn't even think it was worth me dirtying a, a lid, especially when I'm trying to just make this super easy cleanup with one pot, one pan. So stirring that around until it's nice and melted. And once it is, I'm gonna add in some shredded cheese. Now I'm using half a cup of mozzarella cheese for this recipe, but you could add in cheddar if you want to. That would definitely make it more kid-friendly for my kids. Like if you wanted to leave out the red pepper flakes and add in cheddar cheese, that would be good for them. But just adding in a half a cup shredded mozzarella, stirring from the bottom to get that melted in. And I'm just gonna let this cook like maybe a minute or two more until everything is melted and nice and combined. And uh, this is what it looks like when it bubbles up for a second. And that's making sure that my broccoli is cooked to the texture that I like as well. Once it does, I just removed it from the heat, giving it a stir here. You can see that it thickens up nicely once you do that. And to plate it, I'm just serving it in a little shallow salad dish. And I did top mine with a little bit of shredded Parmesan cheese because I had some in the refrigerator and I love cheese. This is a delicious chicken recipe. It's so quick. And like I said, it's easily made to be kid friendly. If you're looking for a low carb recipe that you can just throw together during the week, then this is definitely a go-to to try. Again, the original recipe is linked down below. It's by Gimme Delicious. Um, I just tried to simplify it as much as possible. I hope you enjoyed this quick 15 minute keto chicken recipe video if you did make sure you subscribe to our channel give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next week for more keto cooking bye y'all